Hey guys, it's the Average Show. Today we are looking at the Flex case, Flex Series case from Phone Rebel. Um, it is a relatively new case. It did come out a few months ago, but I wanted to uh, try it out uh, and kind of test it out for you guys, review it, and kind of just give you guys some thoughts. Um, so for me personally, I do love the feeling of a naked iPhone. Um, I know I do like especially the size when you're holding it, um, the thinness and whatnot and how good it feels. And obviously adding a case does kind of add some bulk to it and doesn't make it feel as nice and natural as it, uh, an iPhone should feel when you're holding it. Um, so I got this, tested it out, and you know I just wanna share some thoughts uh, about the case with you guys. Um, but yeah, so for me personally, as I've said in the past, I'm not a huge fan of the aramid fiber slash carbon fiber on the back um but i just kept it as is um and you know i was using the the phone rebel gen 3 case uh before in the past and i just have it right here and i kind of wanted to just show you guys a little side by side comparison uh, i do have this with a d brand skin on the back this is a roll camo i kind of just slapped it on top and then i kind of cut around the, the edges uh like if you see here you see like a little crease so i kind of just cut around those creases to kind of trace it out it's not the cleanest best job but i was happy with it but anyway so here's a case i have it for the iphone 12 pro max um so the thing with the flex case is it's supposed to be thin on the sides um so if you look at the comparison where i put it on top of the gen 3 case you'll see right here it's kind of about the same the top and the bottom but then on the sides, it kind of gets a little narrow right here. And then it comes out and you can see uh, the difference right there on the sides. Um, when you do a side by side, they're about the same when it comes to the, the depth of the case. And the insides, uh, the, the, the Gen 3, you have like this rubber padding on the back. And then the, uh, the Flex case, you have this microfiber cloth or lining. And then um, if you look here... The cutouts are similar, it's just that they're kind of opposite, right? They're inversed. Um, and then obviously with the Flex, you get the same type of MagSafe you get that you get with the Gen 3, which is super strong and will basically hold on to anything. So yeah, that's my little comparison. Obviously there's no buttons uh, because the sides are completely exposed. Uh, so when you do get this case, when you unbox it, uh, sadly, um, the box was thrown out um and then along with it uh something the screen protector that came with it so but i just i do still have this which is a little pouch of accessories that comes with it so in here is usually the screen protector and then you get um when you take this out you get uh some some skins for the side of the phone and then uh like alcohol prep pad and a microfiber cloth for the screen protector now the thing with the screen protector is i did not use it because strangely it did not fit with the case so it does come with a flow lab uh, screen protector which uh, flow lab i love the screen protectors they're amazing but when i put it on uh, it didn't work with the case uh the corners were bubbling up and everything and uh it just messed up the screen protector so i had to kind of get rid of it um but yeah i'll show you guys in a second um what i'm talking about so uh i have my case right here and i'm going to put my phone in and show you guys what it looks like with the phone on. So uh, I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max here. I'm gonna just start with the top, put it in, and then kind of squeeze it, and you hear that click, that means it's in. Okay, so uh, this is what it looks like on the phone. I have a D-Brand leather skin on the camera cutout there, but uh, it does add a little bit of heft to it, but if you look at the top and the bottom, you'll see how much the corners right here, they come up, on top of the phone and because of this all the corners were basically bubbling up and it's weird that they would because the screen protector that they sent was like a full on screen protector there was no notch cut out it wasn't one of those case friendly ones it was just full corner to corner edge to edge screen protector which was amazing it was great but it didn't work for this case which i found weird that and strange that you know that they would send this out and okay this with a screen protector that wouldn't fit, especially a nice one um, from Flow Lab. So I was kind of sad about that. Um, and then on the, so when you're holding this, it actually feels really nice. 
because the sides are so narrow, you, you actually feel like you're holding the actual phone itself. Um, and then you get a little bit of this, the, the on the table protection, actually you get a lot. Like I have a screen protector on top uh, on my phone and this is one of the case friendly ones as you can see. And you can see that it is, uh, you know, there is a lot of lay on the table protection. Um, and then the, you see obviously the top and bottom are kind of uh, digged in for easier top, uh, swiping up and down on things. Uh, and then you see on the sides here, they are basically flush with the actual side, stainless steel side. So when you're holding it, it actually feels really natural because if you look here at the case, it's kind of curved in on both sides. So when you're holding it, it feels really natural. Now, they do provide these skins for the side and I put them on and I took them off immediately because of one reason. Um, the, I don't know if you can see it that well uh, with my horrible lighting, I'm sorry guys. But the issue was not on this side, this side fit really well, but this side was the issue because the SIM card cutout on these, um, if you can see right there, so this is for the volume and buttons, but the SIM card cutout is actually kind of, it's not lined up correctly. Um, right there. You see where the SIM tray slot is with, with the buttons? It's, it's moved up a little bit, or a lot actually. Like you can, okay. I, I get the hang of this now. You can see right there the volumes, the mute rocker, the cutouts are all good, but the SIM card cutout is not. So it's kind of weird how it's not aligned. I don't know what happened with the QC process here, but it doesn't work. It doesn't match up. So that kind of annoyed me. So I took it off and I was using it for uh, the last couple of weeks and it's been really nice. I'm not going to lie, guys. This feels really good in the hands. I was very surprised. Um, but yeah, so I know you can order these skins um, separately. So I haven't tried ordering them yet, but I know if you reach out to them, they do sell them individually. I think it was like one for like one, like one set of this for like five bucks or you can get two of two of these for like eight, something like along those lines. Uh, but you'd have to reach out to them uh, separately. It's not actually on their website. Um, but yeah, so this case, um, if you like the natural side feeling of the case, um, it does feel really good. Uh, the skins uh, minus the cutout were okay. They were kind of a pain to get on because they're so clean and they're so clear that if you technically don't use like tweezers on each side to place it on, um, you're gonna get fingerprints all over the 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 sticky part, the adhesive part of the of the uh, the skin. So it could look kind of messy if you don't do it well and take your time. And the other difficulty with that was also propping the phone up because you have to stand the phone up to get it on perfectly. Uh, so you have to find something that you can kind of use to kind of clamp. Either have a third hand, someone helping you, but because you're gonna need uh, both hands to kind of get it on. Um, so just a little FYI or a heads up on there. So this is the flex series case for the iPhone 12 pro max. They do make it for the iPhone 13, uh, series of phones as well. Uh, so that was just a few of my thoughts. Um, great case. I love it. Feels really natural in the hand. Um, but yeah, it's just the, the side skin was kind of bothering me. Uh, but anyway, if you have any other questions, let me know guys, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, if you appreciate my videos, I appreciate all of you guys and like this video so it kind of helps it move up in the in the in the rankings. Uh but yeah, thanks again guys. Have a good one.